What is rowing? To explain it better, it's actually easier to tell you what it isn't. It's not dragon boating. It's not kayaking. It's not canoeing. And although all of these sports have similarities, rowing is in a class of its own. People think that if they can do those sports that they can, the skills can transfer right away to rowing. And they're usually mistaken. There's big differences. First of all, when you are in those other sports, you are facing forward. When you're in a rowing shell, you're facing backwards. When you're in those other sports, you use a paddle, something like this, and with both hands, and uh, you propel it using your arms. Whereas in rowing, you have oars that are fixed to outriggers, and you're, even though you're holding the ends of the handles, you're not really pulling with your arms. It's your legs that are doing all the work, so you're actually pushing. And it's the leg motion that's the, the um, what propels you. Do normal rowing. The club began as the Fort William Rowing Club in 1904, and has been going strong for over a hundred years. Back then, it was a very popular sport. Uh, many regattas held, and media covered a lot of those regattas with hundreds of people in attendance. They had um, uh, mostly men that uh, were only allowed in the sport until the mid-70s, where women were allowed in the club. And in fact, in 1976 Olympics, um, women were actually allowed into the sport of um, rowing. Rowing is considered a late entry sport, which means that people do not normally take it up until they are in their early teens, where in many other sports, like baseball or hockey, for example, you would start at a much younger age. With rowing, it's when you started in high school, which is when most people started, it's a pretty even, loving, even um, playing field. Uh, that's the second thing. The third thing is um, that makes it different is it's a sport for life. Um, a lot of people play, will play basketball, football, and they'll play it in high school, and that's the only time they play it. With rowing, you can row all your life. We have rowers like myself. I, I didn't start it until I was uh, 59 years old. I took it up. And we have rowers that started um, as teenagers and they've rowed all their life. We have people in their 70s that are rowing, you know, through all ages. It's easy on the joints. It gives you a really good physical workout. Um, and so anyone can do it and at any age and, and they do. Jemima DeYoung is a fairly young rower. She tells us all about how she got involved with the Thunder Bay Rowing Club and why she is so interested in the competitive side of the sport. Um, I got involved when I was 12 and my sister had rowed in university and I thought it would be a really fun sport. So I found the rowing club in Thunder Bay and then I joined, I did learn to row and then I joined novice and then ne the next year I joined competitive. I think I wanted to do competitive from the start, but then I, my parents told me I should probably do one year of novice first, because competitive is like a big, commi a big commitment because it's five to six days a week. And it's like a commitment for my parents too, because they have to drive me five to six days a week. So yeah, I, there was Mallory who was already in competitive. And I talked to Mallory and she really loved it. And I was like, I want to be friends with Mallory. <laughs> And then I just wanted to competitive. I love being on the water. There's something about the play of light and the sunlight and on the waves and the water and uh, oh, it's and you see wildlife. The Kaministiqua River is a beautiful. Actually, it, this river is one of the best places in the world to row endless places you can go. If it's calm, you can go out onto Lake Superior. Um, there's wildlife that you see, but the power that you have when you're actually, especially if you're part of a team in a quad or rowing together is just wonderful. Just physical fitness and the power that you feel is that the boat just glides through the water. It's lovely. If you think you want to give rowing a shot, come out to the Thunder Bay Rowing Club's learn to row sessions that happen every spring. And if you wish to find out more information about the Thunder Bay Rowing Club, 
send them an email, or visit them on their website. For Shaw TV, I'm Pat Quigley.